Hey everybody, Joe Workman here, and today I'm really excited to introduce you to the new Measure Stack. Now, this is a new suite of design tools that allow us to ensure that our website layouts look great on all devices. Let's check it out. Now, the first tool that we're gonna look at is the Measure Stack. And as you see on this page, I have two examples of them. Uh, this first example is going to be measuring the actual container size. And the second one's actually gonna be measuring the entire browser window. So as you see, these are great tools to use within preview. And as I resize my browser window, you'll notice that the values of the actual rulers change to be the actual live dimensions of that particular component, whether or not it's this particular box or it's the browser window. Now you will notice that these actual rulers change colors. They change colors based off predefined rule sets. Now by default, the rule sets are from foundation six breakpoints, but there's a lot of really great baked in rule sets for all frameworks, as well as some popular devices. Now these work really great inside responsive design mode, because as you see, I can take my browser window down really small to what the smallest mobile device could be. And I can see exactly what the dimensions of my objects on the page are. Also, if they're in the way, just simply double click to hide. Now, the next tool in our toolbox is the measure swatch. Now, this behaves exactly like the measure stack does, but it gives us that amazing swatch feature where we can just add a class to anything we want in order to measure it. So here I created a swatch that just simply ties to the measure class. All I need to do is add that class to whatever container we want, and it just does it. So when we preview this, we'll see that I'm actually showing you the iOS device rule set. Now here, because there's no iOS device this large, it's displaying desktop. But as we resize the, the window down, we'll see that we'll start getting to actual breakpoints for iOS devices. So here we have an iPad Pro 12.9. So if we look at responsive design mode, we'll see that the actual breakpoints for every single different iPhone are available directly right here within measure. Now the measure stack bases all of its actual breakpoints on the device width. So in the responsive design mode, when we change the height, it doesn't really affect the actual breakpoints. For that, let's look at our next tool. So here we have the device viewer. And when we preview this, we'll notice that we get a dropdown of every single iOS, iPad, and many different popular Android and Surface devices. And let's go ahead and pick one. That will then open up a pop-up window of the exact dimensions of the iOS device that we have chosen. Want to turn it landscape mode? Go ahead and click this button. And you now get this device directly in landscape mode. And you can scroll down and view your designs on that particular device. Want to try a different device? Let's go ahead and select a new one. Let's go ahead and pick an iPad 10. And there we go. Here's the exact dimensions of what our website will look like on, a, on this particular device. So I hope you can see how useful the measure suite of design tools can be. It really allows you to fine tune your layout so we can measure things and really preview them on tons of different mobile devices directly from preview. It's really cool. I hope you enjoy it. And Go forth and make your websites great. Bye.